Hi everyone, I've had a request from the lovely Gainer to show how I made one of my pockets in my flower journal that I'm doing to swap. So what I thought I'd do is I'll come on and show you how to make a few of the pockets that I've done. Um, the one Gainer wanted to see is, bear with me, <laughs> one of the first things I put in there. So we're going to be doing this one. And then we're going to be doing one similar to this one. I'm just going to make it that big though. And then I'm going to show you how to do a tri-fold little fold out thing to put in your, fold, in your journal as well. So if you want to do it along, if you want to make along with me, You'll need paper, scissors and glue. That's it. I've got some thinner paper, about 120 grams, I think this is. You know, 120, 130, that sort of sat weight. This as well is the one I'm going to do the trifold with. Um, it's a heavier, it's not as thick as card, but it's heavier than paper. It's a nice nice weight to um to do without being too bulky when you fold it so the first one we're going to do and i've chosen these two papers because they're not directional they're both blank on the other side which we'll sort that out when we come to it just need to cut that white bit off there this one's going to be for the like layered pockets and this one's going to be for the one that, I sh that Gainer has requested. So I'm going to do it like this. So this, I've got 12 by 12 paper. You can do it with 8 by 8, 6 by 6, any paper you want really, as long as you, you fold it how I show you, it won't matter what size your paper is. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold it upwards like this. Just fold it completely in half like this. Make sure it's completely in half. You may want to use a bone folder if you have one, or you can use the handle of your scissors, or you can press down with your fingers like I do. I have got a bone folder. I couldn't quite, oh, here we are. I do have a bone folder. There we go. So I've just folded it in half lengthways if you've not got a square and then I'm going to fold it in half again not quite in half this time though we're going to fold it and leave a little bit at the end can you see that I'm leaving a little bit there so it doesn't matter how big that bit is it can be that big it can be that you know as big as you want it, it can be that big that big that big I'm going to have it this size so I'm going to crease my paper again, fold my paper again. It is a very easy pocket to do. And as I say, I saw this on journaling with me, M-E, me, um, yeah, journaling with me. And then we're going to, you see how I've just tucked that piece in. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it differently. I'm not going to tuck it in. I'm going to fold it over like this. So we've got the corner to corner tuck, the corner to corner there. And I'm going to fold that over and I'm going to cut it off. Now, I know that on the... On the tutorial I saw on journaling with me, she didn't cut it off, she tucked it in. That's If you want to do that, you can do that. But the reason I'm doing this is because I need to cover this up. And I'm going to do it with that piece of paper. I'm going to glue it onto the back of there to cover it up. Okay, so I'm going to tuck it in a little bit under there. And then that'll glue onto there. There'll be a little bit of a 
an edge but it, it won't matter we won't see it if we want to um use our inking on it and i will ink it in a minute to do that so let's get some glue down if you've got double-sided paper you don't need to do this bit in fact if you're happy to leave your paper white you don't need to do it anyway just do you know you do you i just want to cover up this the back of this paper here so that i've got a So that it's not stark white, so that it's covered. Now I've gone a bit too far there, haven't I? It's okay, it doesn't matter. What I'll do, I'll trim along the edge of here, trim off the extra, and then the same along here, just a little. What's happened there? Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. And then trim along here that will do right then I'm going to cut some holes in it to show where the pockets are so we're going to have a pocket there when we fixed it to the page we'll have a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here yeah and now what I do different as well is I cut this piece of paper off I know that um, on the tutorial I saw they didn't cut that bit off so I'm going to cut it off like this I'm not going to cut all the way up to there because I want that bit to fold over. So I'm going to leave that little bit on there like that. See how I've left that bit there up to the crease. You can cut it up to the crease that way. And then when we fold it back up again, this bit here can be glued down just to make it look tidy. You don't need this back piece, especially if you're going to glue it to a page. Yeah, so now let's see again yes that's right once we glue it to a page we'll glue it down across and up that's right then we'll have one pocket here one pocket here and one pocket there so i'm just going to make some some holes for our pockets and i'm going to do that with my little hole punch with my quite big hole punch actually i'm not going to do a hole punch in this one but i am going to do one for this one here yeah you can't yeah we'll glue that down in a minute but this is going to be where the pocket is at the back when once you put it onto your into your journal you'll see that there's a pocket there a pocket there and then there's one here as well so do this before you glue you glue anything together. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm a bit slapdash, I am. There we are. And then we need to ink it up if you want to ink it up. You're not forced to. I'm going to put a little bit of ink on it. And I'm using this Distress Ink and it is Vintage Photo. And as I say, you'll put glue down here across the bottom and up here leaving this bit non you know unglued so then you will have your tucks here here and here so that's three pockets so then the only thing left to do then is to glue it closed so we need to glue along here along this bit here there we go we'll just put a little bit on there And then press it down I just think for me I like this this um, cutting the bit off the back because it makes it less bulky when it's in your journal 
and by the time you've got your cards and everything in it you know it'd be even bulkier still so I think it's no bad thing to make it a bit less bulky if you can so let's just re-ink that and if you want to as well you can round the corners let's round the corners of this bit here don't think we need to do them do we no we do need to glue down here though so we need to glue along here And just along here like that. There we go. And then all that is left to do then is glue it into your book and decorate it. So decorate it to your taste. I'm going to have to cut that bit off there as well. Re-ink. Yeah, and then when you get it in your journal, whatever journal you put it in, you can decorate it to the style of that journal. And you've still got a bit of extra paper here that you could turn into a couple of journaling cards or a couple of tags or a journaling card and a tag. Yeah, it's not it's not wasted then, is it? And you've still got your three pockets. Yeah, so that's that one. I hope that helped, Gainer. The next one is the little, the, the one like this, but I'm only making it with five pockets. One, two, no, four pockets, three. And then when you glue it in, you'll have four pockets. Yeah, I think, we'll see. You, may, you could also make it with five by putting another pocket along the bottom there. So let's see. Now, I saw this on Seven Plaza and she did it with a piece of six by six paper, but I'm using 12 by 12, so mine will come out bigger. Seven Plazas came out um, roughly, I mean, they were, they were gorgeous, don't get me wrong, came out roughly that size. So you can do it with six by six paper. I'm going with 12 by 12. Just do the same folds as I do and, and you'll be laughing. This paper is not directional, so it doesn't matter which way up I have it. I, what I need to do is to score my paper or to fold it. I'm going to just fold over a little bit. Just about... Where's my ruler? So it is two, one and a half centimetres. I'm, it doesn't matter as long as it's the same at the top as it is at the bottom. Okay, just keep your fold even. So I've just measured that now. So I know I've got it right at the top and at the bottom. So I'm doing my, put my glue thing out of the way. Do my fold along there like that. Get your bone folder or the handle of your scissors or press hard with your fingers and get that all the way down like that the next thing we're going to do is fold our paper over and fold it to the edge like that because we're going to actually glue that down onto there do you see so then fold that across like that There we go. So the next thing we're going to do is glue down the side here and then fold that over and glue it down on the edge there. Okay, so then we're left with this like tube. And the next thing we're going to do is fold the bottom up. Up to, I'm going to fold it to about two thirds of the way up. 
So there's about a third there and two thirds here. It doesn't matter how far up you fold it as long as you, you know. So then we'll have a pocket there, a pocket there and a pocket there. And then when you glue it onto your page, you can either glue it down here and across the bottom and have another pocket there. Or you can glue it here and here and here and have another pocket here. And then what Seven Plaza did, she did the same with another piece of paper and slotted it inside this piece of paper so that she had this many pockets. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight when you glue it down. So that's an eight pocket thing. It's fantastic. I love it. Or you could just clip it to a page, you know? So yeah, I'm only going to do the two pockets on mine. So I've got two nice deep pockets. I'm going to do a bit of inking across I'm actually going to do my corners as well. So I'm going to do my corners first. Just going to round these corners here. Right, so the next thing we need to do is put our thumb holes thumb holes in with this just do the front piece don't do the back piece you don't need to do the back piece as well just do the front piece find the scent i'm eyeballing it you can measure it there we go i may have gone a bit too far that side it's fine it's fine you'll not notice when it's decorated so what I'm going to do is get my little bit of card out of there and do the same up here. Yep, line it up so they're both going to be the same. That's what I want to do. Yeah, so I need that pink bit on the edge there. And do this one as well. There we go. We've got wonky, wonky uh, things, but it, it's it's all it's meant to be wonky. It was honestly, yeah, it was. <laughs> right. So then we've got our inking to do. So let's do some inking. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a junk journal, remember. It's a good job really, because mine aren't perfect. I do my best, but I often do have a bit of a boo boo. It's all right. It's all right pocket will still work perfectly well and then down this side I don't actually need to do the inside bit we will do the outside bit do along the bottom there so how easy was that to do it really was easy wasn't it because the only thing we've got to do now is put glue down here So I just want glue down this side. And glue down this side. Rub that closed. Give it a good... This glue doesn't take long to dry. I love this glue. I've stopped using... All my other glues I use using tape. I've stopped using the tape. Right, so that's that. So the next thing we need to do is find some little page tabs or make some little page tabs. I have a little thing, page tabs in it here, pre-made ones. 
you don't have to you can do them on your big shot die cutting machine you can cut them out by hand you could just have a little bit of folded paper you don't have to have them at all if you don't want to there we are we need a little thing on there to show you that there's a pocket there that's what that's in aid of so i need i only need two for this one don't i so let me see which two shall i have or i might just use one of these as a pattern and find i want some that's quite bright really don't I, for this let's see if i've got and i want i would like to have two the same really so that's what i'm looking for two the same um it doesn't even have to go it could just be like one one piece of paper glued down on the back there couldn't it you could just like glue a piece i mean that pink goes really well doesn't it this is actually only paper though it's not and it's not very thick you could literally just glue that onto there couldn't you and it would hide that white at the back there as well i don't like that white showing at the back but yeah and i do like that pink so we only want it so mine will i'll glue mine in sort of up to that first i put some glue on it up to that thing there yeah let's just stick some glue on it and see how we get on i'm gonna have to replace this glue i have got some more but i hate throwing glue away i'm not throwing the whole thing away and i'm not you can see i'm not gluing the whole thing i'm just gluing the bottom of it same on this one just the bottom part actually i'm going to do the whole thing because what i've got is i'll show you in a minute usually they come you know uh, with the front and the back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, crikey i'm stuck i'm going to get stuck to that i have got some i have got some backs they're in different colors but you're not going to see the back anyway so it won't matter here we go it will reinforce it a bit as well so let's put glue on all four pieces you just put glue on the whole back of your page tab there we go so we're going to put the the pink bit ah, fiddly fiddly in the front and i'm going to put mine down far enough to cover up that that background i don't want the plain background nor do i want to get that glued to there right so that's that bit done and then we're going to glue oh that bit ain't got any glue on it what on earth happened there then just forgot to do it so then we're going to i'm going to line this up with the back and glue that down as well and that's reinforced it and you can see that it's got a pocket here and a pocket here so the same with the top let's put some glue on this one okay so we'll put the front one on first and put it down far enough to yeah that's good and then we'll put one oh it's glued to the back of there now ah, not that it matters because oh i want it glued to the back of there what am i talking about i'm a twit aren't i right let's get it straight again yeah i do want it glued to the back of there i'm being a being a twit there we are and then i can glue this bit onto the back of there like that to reinforce it oh, 
that's it. Not quite straight, that isn't. That needs to be up a tiny bit that side. I can do it. There we go. Yes, that's it. Right, so we have got our finished pocket, really. All that's left to do is decorate it. And I'm going to do that once it's in the journal. So, yeah, that's two pockets I've shown you how to do. If you wanted to, you could have it that way, couldn't you? Yeah. And I'm going to put those into the journal and then I'll decorate them. And then this as well is a, it's going to be a trifold or a, a bit like a folio, but, but not a fully a folio. Just a little fold out piece to, for us to have to write on something I can just clip to a page so I've printed out a pretty picture that I liked you can do this with any piece of paper you want a piece of A4 paper would be great um, as I say I've just printed this onto here but you could use patterned paper you don't have to you can use plain paper it doesn't matter use what paper goes with your journal So I've chosen this paper to use. Um, now, which way up does it need to be? I don't think it really matters. But I want to roughly get it into thirds. Let's measure it. What have we got in centimetres? 28. So it's 9.3 and a bit. Yeah. So 9.3. One, two, three, and a bit. Nine point one, two, three, and a bit. So, yeah, all you need to do is measure your paper, divide it by three. If it's not easy to divide by three, cut it down a bit. Nine point one, two, three. Yes, you see, it's just in the middle of them two, that is. And then 9.123 and a bit. There. And then line your, line your marks up. Do, the, do a mark at the top and at the bottom. And then fold your paper over your ruler like this. And give it a good crease. And then this should fold. Oh, yes. And just beautiful. I think I want it that way up though, yeah. And you can decide, I actually think that's a nice bright, we'll have that on the front. If you wanted to, you could cut the top into a tag shape. I don't think there's any need, do you? I think it's all right like that. I've got my folded piece of paper, now all there is left to do is decorate it. It's actually got rounded corners, mine has, but if you want to round your corners, go ahead and do that. Then I'm going, if you want to ink it, go ahead and ink it as well. If you wanted to, you could do some um, pockets inside here. You could do a little pocket, a little pocket down here, one down here. You could do a couple in the middle there and then it would be a proper folio, wouldn't it? Yeah, should we, should we do that? Should we put some pockets in it? Let me find some um, paper that will match nicely and I'll put put some pockets in it, I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go with this paper here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my folio down here like this. 
you can see it's double sided i could use either side of that but it's too thick to make the actual folio with but it's all right to make the pockets with so i'm going to get my pencil and i'm going to draw around here like this go a bit further than you want it to go that's fine i'm gonna i'll measure I'll measure it in a minute. I've just gone and drawn on my thing now. Look. The same on the other end. So draw around there. Go a bit further than you need to, as I say, and then you can measure it. I'm just going to do it the width of my ruler. So I'm going to line the width of my ruler up with the edge. I'm going to line my ruler, not the width of my ruler. And then I'm going to go cut down there like that. And then that's going to be my pocket piece. So I'm going to do the same on this end so that both pockets are the same. I mean, none of this is uh, necessary. It's just, it's just me doing my usual faffing. So then, get your scissors and cut those pockets out. One here. I actually don't know whether that's the right side or whether that's the right side. I don't think it really matters. They're both similar. So one will go there. And one will go there. Yep. And then we need some pockets for the middle here. So the way I'm going to do that is to fold it like this. And then I'm going to put... I want it the right way up by the paper then. So I'll put it on like this. I'm going to put my paper on like this. And measure the width of that. Which is to there, draw down there. Yeah. And I want it to be, so this will be one pocket. So I'm going to cut it just inside the line. I don't want it that big though, it's going to be too big like that, isn't it? I only want it about about this size i think so i'm eyeballing how big i want it and i'm going to just cut it out and then i'm going to do another one the same size i actually could do it just right next to that one couldn't i yep yeah. I actually don't have a lot of coloured paper. I have a lot of coloured card. Um, I mean, I do have coloured paper, but it just didn't um, match what I wanted it to. So let's look at this. What I'm going to do next is we've got our pocket there. Oh, I've lost me one of my pockets now. There it is. I've got a pocket there, a pocket there. And we're going to have a pocket here and a pocket up here. That's my plan. So I'm going to round the corners on this and I'm going to cut it a little bit thinner. It's, in fact, I'm going to cut it a good bit thinner, otherwise it will hinder the folding. That'll be great. So let's cut this one that size as well. We don't want it to hinder the folding up. And then I'm going to get my corner rounder and round all four corners on it to make it look pretty so that one will go there like that I am going to um, ink these as well in a minute and then we'll do this one like that So I have one there and one there. 
that's good. So ink in next. So now we just need to glue them into place. So now we have got our little folio to go in there. How cute is that? We just need to put some things inside it now, don't we? Some little... You could have covered the back if you wanted to. Or it could be left to be written on down there, couldn't it? Let's see, and what can we put in here? I've got these two little cards which will fit nicely into those pockets. So that one and that one. And then I've got this piece of paper here I'm going to turn into tags. I don't know why that's so wet. Oh, I better put my wiper on it, didn't I? Yeah. So this is, um, I thought if I leave it in a strip like that, it could be a belly band or it can be turned into. So to get a tag, you cut that side off there. Use it to measure the other side. There we go. Cut the top off. make some holes with our hole punch if you haven't got a hole punch use a an awl or the end of your scissors anything to make a hole with make sure you try and line your hole up in the middle we all know i'm rubbish at that right so there's my two two little tags to go in the sides and i'm going to put a little bit of twine in them no, not an elastic band. Twine, twine. Here we go, I've got my twine on my desk ready. So. And then thread your twine through from the back to the front, catch it through your loop and pull it tight. So there's that one. You can put a grommet through there if you want to. I have done on some of them, but not everyone has grommets, do they? And I, what I forgot to do was ink these, so I better do that now. You don't have to ink them if you don't want to. You can just leave them uninked. It's fine. If you haven't got an ink or you don't want to ink them, don't ink them. It doesn't matter. Right, let me just round the corners on this as well. Again, rounding corners is optional. If you don't like rounded corners, don't round the corners. There we go. So that's a pretty little tag. And let's just ink the back of it as well. So my little, what was going to be a, a writing thing has turned into a folio. Otherwise, I think I would have put a backing on it. You know, put coloured this. Anyway, I've shown you how to make a folio. Right, let's, a little folio, a trifold. A little trifold folio, yeah. And the ink. There we go. So we can pop one of those in each side. That was my little pocket tutorial for today. I hope you found that useful. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye for now.